Hello, this is that across one. Welcome back to the Banner Saga. We just want to battle. Some people got injured, but eh, fucking cares. So it's Hogan and Mogan. Um, the brothers thank you with wide grins. Soon, many of the villagers have joined your caravan. You scanned around anxiously for Alette, who had gone missing when the fighting began. Eventually, you find her watching from afar. Hogan returns at that moment, introducing you to his son and wife, and you soon set out again. That's a lot of extra clansmen. That's a lot of extra fighters. That's some renown. And that's the supplies I was waiting for. <laughs> and that marches quietly along inside the caravan, a little distance since leaving the village. When you stop for a rest, Odla approaches you both. Wonder what's going on. Alet, I have something. No, we can't give people new voices. Alet, I have something for you. Odlef has gathered up the long banner from the caravan and smiles warmly as she passes it to Alette. What's this about? I was hoping you'd sew up the banner with everything that's happened since we left Skogar. Come find me another time, Rook, and we'll talk. Before you can comment, she departs. Dad, are you the chieftain now? Uh, it looks that way. Oh, that means... They're both quiet for a moment, while well, Alette unfurls the banner. Olaf has been teaching me how to sew. She speaks very pretty highly of you. Can we read the part about Mom? You nod. On the banner has been sewn the story of the families who have lived in Skulker throughout the years, just as is done on every banner in every town. I wish she was here, but I'm glad I'm glad she isn't. The section of the banner about your family is short, but Alette has been sewing in colorful designs. Why do you say that? So she doesn't have to deal with all of this. Dredge, leaving home, and... Why did she have to kill those men in the village? I mean, if it's okay to ask. Ah, shit. Um... Would've... Uh, I'm more worried about why he disappeared. No, no, I don't. I don't give a fuck. Um, it would have killed others. I had to make a hard choice. I, oh, I won't justify my thing, because the dredge are terrifying. Every time we have to fight them, I just want to run. But I don't want to kill a person. Please, are you mad at me? God no. I'm sort of happy that you're not a fucking homicidal maniac like I obviously am. Um, yeah, I'm glad you don't want to. Let smiles at this, and her face sinks again. I guess I would do it, if I really had to. But, do we have to? I know what you mean. Yeah, I know. Dad. I think you're doing a good job. Aww. She hugs you. You spend the rest of your time to get the... Did I just, like, bump my headset or something? Or did it just get actually louder? I think I bumped my headset. Uh, you spend the rest of the time together sewing new verses into the banner. For better or worse, the story of Skogar is your burden now. Oh, I feel important. I like feeling important. Um, ooh, got a lot of tents. Uh, heroes, training, leave. Yeah, let's talk to the lady. How are you doing, Odd? <laughs> is that her nickname? Odd? I think that's a pretty terrible nickname if you ask me. If I just called someone odd because their name was... Ugh, oh, Jesus. I'm alright. Oh, but I realized after I handed you the banner, I probably gave you the wrong impression. My husband's still in and out of consciousness. It doesn't look good. It's harder than I thought it would be, just not knowing. People tell me I'm a strong woman. It's funny, my father named me Old Leaf before I was even born. He wanted a boy so badly. Strong woman. What does that even mean? Um. Uh, um. Yeah, I never cared for that expression. We'll go with that. See what that does. If I feel nothing about my husband dying, people think I'm strong. If I cry because my infills, insides feel like they're on fire, I'm weak. Why does that feel so backwards? I'm sorry, Rook. It's been hard. You're not sure what to say. In the many years you've known the chieftain's wife, this is probably the most you've ever talked. You asked me to come find you? Yes, it's about the banner. I thought about it a long time. He asked me to give it to you, you know, if something happened. 
Uh huh. <laughs> it should be mine. I could carry it, but I thought about why he named you. I get it. They wouldn't follow a woman. Families would leave. Our banner would be divided. Hmm. I don't. I don't want to be like you're right. Like she. She's smart. I'm. She is probably right. But I also kind of want it myself. But I don't want to give off that impression. Yeah. Look, it's not just about our small town. What happens the first time we need something from another clan? What happens when someone thinks they can take advantage of us? I think this is what has to happen. Oh, my business is what it means. I'll do my best. Yay! I think so, too. Listen, I know I dragged this out. The truth is, my husband and I could never have a child. What? I don't want our banner to end here. It'll be safe with you and Olette. I know you're going to take care of her. She puts her hand on your shoulder as she heads back to the camp. Ooh, five for now. <laughs> whoosh, right up before it goes. Alright, alright, alright. So heroes, we got some we got some leveling up to do, and I think we should level up our main. Injuries. Oh yes. When you more units fighter, the injured marks can still fight, but they have a penalty to the max strength equal to the number of days wounded. They heal as time passes. Uh yeah, now we're gonna stick up a let somewhere in here. Uh I don't know last. Sure. Uh, we'll keep you in there, and no one can take this yet, because no one's level th uh, 3 even, let alone 5. Well, we'll promote this guy, keep going with him, because, yeah. So, Shield Break, Strength Man, that's what he's known as. Now he needs a shit ton more stuff. And you might as well give this to him instead, because, what is it again? Dodge Strength, uh, yeah, might as well just give it to him. And I'll promote him... As Shield Breaker Man 5000. And. Someone else, you can't be promoted. Um. Okay, no one else can be promoted. Alright, cool. 10 out of 10. Good job. Let's not rest, because I don't think we need to. But let's let's just have a bit of a training sesh, because I want to. I want to practice a bit more. Gotta see if I can get a bit better at this. <laughs> Um, alright, you take those two, because you'll probably be able to do that just fine. Uh, ooh, because, uh, oh, shit. What's your, your armor break is for, yeah. So you can hit him pretty hard, and then knock down his armor pretty hard. Uh, you're injured, which is sort of a shame, so you'll probably just, like, I don't know. You'll stay with him, and he'll, like, do everything in his power to make sure you don't fucking die or some shit. And then the three archers will just gang up on this loose guy. And this guy, we'll see what he does. Hey guys! Hey! I'm, I'm, I've come to lower your armor a shit ton. Oh, that was loud. At least on my end. A oh, fucking course he does that. If you can take a hit, you can return one. Um. Pew! Should probably improve her armor break. Um, okay, yeah, everyone gang up on the big guy, sure. Uh, let's get a fucking move on, see if we can go and, you know, help. Before this guy gets absolutely fucking obliterated. Oh shit, this guy's now got no armor. Uh, you're gonna see if you can break down this guy's armor a bit. Uh, oh, you're just gonna do nothing. Oh no, you're gonna be able to do something. That's annoying. Uh, you're gonna hit this guy because he attacks before this guy does shit again. I believe. There we go, stop him a bit. Uh, you're gonna be a dick. Um, oh, you're gonna be able to help with him. Do his armor down a bit more. Oof! Uh, he's gonna take another bit of a beating. Finally gonna be able to dish some damage back. Let's get this guy. Down a shit ton. Oh, you're just getting his armor up. That's fine. Uh, you're gonna go over here. Block the movement shield wielders to the front. Yeah, don't. He's got a shield, so I guess he is a shield wielder. Um, okay, we hit him quite a bit. 
Uh, let's see if we can just basically get him so he's almost useless now. I don't want to get rid of him entirely because it's nice to have a weak guy around so they waste a turn on him. Oh, but well, he's going down no matter what now. Um, let's see if we can get you to the other side and start weakening this guy with a shit ton of... Shit. Okay, apparently you can't do anything. Uh, let's just stonewall you then. Because fuck me. And yeah, there he goes. Um, okay, let's shoot something at this guy from afar. We can finally do something. Jesus Christ. Yeah, he took a bit. Yeah. Uh, hey, we did it. Um, oh, there's gotta be some way we can thread the needle. Yeah, if we just go down here. Oh, we can start prepping damage already. But yeah, we gotta start getting some threading the needle shit happening. Because there's three guys right here. That'd be perfect. Oh, but uh, armor hit. Uh, if we go over here, we can hit that guy. Uh, yep, dope. Get his armor down a bit. Boop a dip boop. Fuck, that's not good at all. Um, let's get you to do a bit of a flail on this guy. Just so we can get him down a bit. Boom. Ah, shit. Let's block my way to for a let. Uh, hit your shields a bit. Boom. Ah, oh, shit. Well, there goes the usefulness of throwing the needle. Let's start killing some of these fools. Boop! And then he's gonna do something. Fuck. Uh, get him down to one. Just so he's useless. It's this five and nine guy. That's really annoying me. Um, oh, we can do four to him, so he's... Oh, we can do five to him, so he's not a threat anymore. And the let goes... Uh, ah, shit. Yeah, you fucking sit tight there, friend. Because this is exactly what we want. It's just... oof. Oh, he dodged. Shit, son. Yeah, uh, yeah, we'll just do that. Probably could have used the willpower to go down a bit more, but nah. None of you can do shit, bitch! Uh, let's just try threading the needle. Is this hits all units between the archer and the target in a straight line. It's gonna hit him. Oh no, it did, but he resisted. Hooray. Can't do shit, bitch! Uh, let's hit the guy in two. Yeah, see, our strat works in the long term. We take a lot of casualties, though, and I'm not a big fan of that. Uh, fucking kill him. Pillage! Oh no, my armors. And then, oh no, is you're dead. Hmm. Yeah. Definitely not doing optimal here. Gotta pay more attention to like turn orders and shit. But yeah, we'll head out now. Let's see where the winds take us. Quite a few fighters with us now, which is good. Uh, at a small split in the trail, a few fighters stop to speak with you, each carrying a single pack. We recognize this place, one man says. Spent several years here with some kin. If they're still around, we'll have to warn them of what's coming. With luck, we'll find you again in less than a week. Um... You think you'll survive... on your own? Uh, the men look to each other somberly before one says, That's why we have to go. Out to your loan. Our kin are as good as dead. And they depart. Cool. Lost a few, but it's alright. We got plenty. We got plenty. Do their own shit. And plus, we don't have to feed them. Um, complaints of raftness, fear, success of drinking have resurfaced. This time the man stumbled over some tent ropes, pulled the snag canvas through a campfire, nearly setting a supply wagon aflame. The man's been put out the fire. 
both on both the wagon and Ransford's leg before leading him to you. Um. Yeah, just drinks nothing but water. Fucking, just stop being a damn drunk. He agrees, slurring his way through promises to quit being such a nuisance. Many of the onlookers snort or roll their eyes, but go back to their business. Somehow your dad will be long before he manages to get another drink, whether you are loud or not. Mm. Yeah, he's gonna be a bit of a problem child, but whatever. Dredge! Shouts a man from the back of the caravan. It's Ross Fears, the unbashed drunk, staggering towards you, looking not entirely sober. He screams again, pointing to trees in the distance. Fear races through the caravan as the fighters pull out their weapons. Scouts returns with no settings, and furious men surround him. Um. Fuck it, I believe in him. There'll be time for that later, you tell the men. For now, we take no chances. A full day of uneasy rest passes with no sign of dredge. The caravan is annoyed by the scare and the delay. Eventually, he bursts into laughter, and you're sure there was no, there never were any dredge. Not long after, his goes missing. Nobody searches for him or seems to mind. Well, whatever. I took precautions because that's the type of person I am. It's a strong, thriving city. Oh, fuck. The walls of Frostwetter now just keep the howling winds at bay. With luck, they'll hold out against Dredge as well. Cool. Uh, oh, there's already some people camping here? Question mark. Oh, there's already quite a few people camping here. Oh, look at our beautiful banner. Ain't it beautiful? Um, I'm also gonna end the episode here before we actually do this. So, yeah, this is Black Cross One playing the Banner Saga. I hope you enjoyed. Have a nice day and goodbye.